Oh, forget! Everyone thought King Koopa had left the Mushroom Kingdom, and then his doom ship attacked. King Koopa was back with the greatest danger ever known: his Koopa kids. Using their new superpowers, the Super Mario Bros. rescued Princess Toadstool and beat back the Ko evil Koopa family. I'll get those plumbers! That, that's all I have to say about that. I just felt like doing that. Because funny Mario 3 cartoon. Anyway, let's play Super, Super Mario Bros. 3! I don't like how they didn't give them gloves for all stars. It just looks it looks fine in the NES version because you know 8 bit limitations, but like they just look weird. They don't have gloves. Look at these guys, they just have hands. Mario without gloves in his regular outfit is kinda cursed, not gonna lie. I'm just I'm glad they fixed that for um they changed that for uh freaking um what what should we call it? Mario Super Mario Advance War Super Mario Brothers. Anyway, time to play some Super Mario Brothers Three trip. Yeah, Mario Three does have better power ups, but I like Mario World better. They're all really good though. Wow, I'm already loving this. Forgot how great the control was in this game. One of the best controlling Mario games for sure. It doesn't feel too floaty. Feels just no. It feels just right, basically. And Mario World has is also up there because like the control of that game is so tight. Let's get some coins. Do 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 do. Ah oh, crap! My lighting already sucks. Sad to say. Maybe it's because the level is just really blue. Ah, you know, if there's anything I hate about this game, I don't freaking know which way the the mushroom is going to go. Why is it weird in this game? I feel like sometimes it just doesn't work. And like, it goes in the opposite direction I hit the block in or something. do 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 no. No. Wait, I think I was supposed to do that differently. Um... I don't know. Oh, I see now. Three. I respect this game for what it did. A lot of the early worlds feel really fun and great to play. I just, I'm not a big fan of like World 6, World 7, or World 8. They just don't feel that fun to me. But I'm willing to forgive it because the rest of the game is so good. But like, I don't know, I just kind of hate those worlds, honestly. Melt 5 is okay from what I remember. Also, I know I'm supposed to use the P-Switch, but I can just fly up there, because I'm... Raccoon Mario. Um... Well, I could fly up there. I just gotta find a good space to do it. No. I just feel like it's a little bit too difficult. I don't know. I don't... I just... I like when games are difficult, but if it feels irritating, I just don't like it. Like, the difficulty just feels annoying. And it makes me frustrated in a bad way. Then I don't like it. If the difficulty is well, like a well-designed challenge, 
That feels hard, but like, in a different way than I like it. Like, I don't know, it depends. That, that's fair. Super Mario World definitely is really easy. And I can't fault people for not liking it because it wasn't easy, but I don't know. I guess I'm just more lenient to games being easier, to be fair. But that's not to say that, bruh, no. That I don't like games that are hard either. I, guess. I have a lot of fun with hard games. Like, I freaking love Cuphead, for example. Now, to be fair, I feel like that game is more enjoyable playing it with my nephew than on my own, honestly. When you have a friend to carry you in that game, the bosses just feel so much like... Like, you have someone to fall back on in Cuphead, it just feels so much more like... You know, like, you're cooperating and you're both, like... You know, beating the boss together as a team. Like, I like that. When you're, when you're fighting the bosses on your own, there's still definitely that learning experience of figuring out the boss, but like... I just get so mad at some of the bosses, like the freaking cuckoo clock bird thing, like that thing freaking ticked me off, man. That guy, but I'm on as a team, it was perfectly fine. I don't know. I, I honestly, I think Cuphead's better as a two-player game, but I know there's hardened gamers out there that probably don't mind it for its. The, you know, the single player. Bro. I'm bad at this thing. Okay, I know, I know. I gotta hit it from over here instead. For me, it depends on the challenge. I like games like VVV, even though they're really hard, because, like, there's checkpoints everywhere, and there's no life, so it's, like... It's definitely still brutally difficult, but like, in an accessible way where anybody can pick it up still. I like that kind of difficulty. No. Huh, is that not the pipe I can go in? I don't know. I don't. I don't really care. Oh yeah. Also, I forgot how freaking short all the levels are in this game. So maybe I can beat the whole game. I don't know. Even compared to like Super Mario Brothers One, these levels are just like short as heck. Pick a box. Pick a box. Its contents will help you on your way. Okay, I hated that. Eh, it's a fire flower. Those are kind of useless in games with flying power-ups. But, I mean, they're fine to have on standby. I like All-Stars Mario 3 and Mario 2 a lot better than the NES versions, but the NES versions are cool too. And have their charm. By the way, I saw a freaking ROM patch for Mario 1. I mean, for Mario All-Stars that completely fixes the block problem in Mario... In Mario Lost Levels in Mario 1. And it looks like... Like, like it plays really well like that. If that one tiny problem were fixed for All-Stars, I think that would be the definitive way to play Mario 1. But I still think it's a really solid way to play, even if the block thing is kind of annoying. You can't get past that, I kind of understand. It's kind of like when you play Crash and Sane Trilogy, and you're too used to the PS1 games, and it just kind of feels off. I can get that for some hardened fans, but like for me, I got used to it after a while. I don't know. Same thing for, for, like, Super Monkey Ball Banana Mania. I'm sure classic bands of the GameCube games couldn't quite get used to the physics at first. But I like that game. Even though I didn't really get too far. I didn't get past, like, World 3. Also, I never freaking do this thing. I don't know, bro. I love all the little backgrounds. 
and like sprite details they did. Like all the freaking All Stars versions of all these games look beautiful. So I get that. Mario One, I think for the time, I mean, I think it still looks pretty good. But, like, it's a little bit ugly compared to, like, Mario 3 and Mario 2, especially. But I still really like Mario 1, you know, the graphics, obviously. Like, you know, it has its charm, and it looks really good still. Just, like, Mario 2 and Mario 3 hold up much better in terms of, like, graphic design. Mario 1 is a little bit ugly, but in a good way. I like the, the looks of like early NES games. The sprites are kind of funky because of graphic limitations, but... Like, the characters are quite charming in their simplicity. Like, the balloon fight game, that's a good game. Bro, it's only been like 10 minutes and I'm like sweeping through World 1. I like how this level is like half cave, half underground. Like half half top of a cave, half underground cave thing. It's pretty neat. Got that thing? I'm bad at the freaking matcher game. You know what? Just cheat. I don't care. Okay, never mind. You know what? This isn't worth cheating on. It'll take too long. Bruh, I don't freaking know. This game sucks. The only thing I don't like quite as much about the All-Stars version of Mario 3 is that they kind of removed the, the stage play elements a little bit. Like, they don't have the wires everywhere and stuff. I guess that might look a bit weird for a 16-bit version, but like, I don't know. Otherwise, I think the aesthetic looks really pleasing, and I guess this is like the actual version of the events that happened in Mario 3. The NES version is the stage play. This is the real deal. This game. That's my that's my that's my lore of the day. Well, okay, there's still wires in like places like this, but like I don't know. They just kinda removed a lot of them. I'm good at this game, trust me. I'm really good at the Mario games. Actually. Nice. Okay. Gotta kick this Hammer Brothers butt in a second. Pick a box, this contest will help you on your way! Kinda of sounds like old toad there. Like for Mario Kart 64. I'm the best! Bruh, that should have hit on. That was busted. I don't know when I'll use this superstar, but it could come in handy. I'm really bruh, they got the freaking cobra. I like how they Change the transformations for this one, I think. I know one of them is Donkey Kong Jr. Or, or is that only in the advanced version? I don't know. 
Oh, it's terrible! The king has been transformed! Please find the magic wand so we can change it back! Do 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 Okay, okay, okay. That was a little out of line there. I think they're different from the NES version anyway. Like, I know Donkey Kong Jr. wasn't in the NES. Sure, let's grab a fire flower. The level wants me to get a fire flower. I will. Yeah, whatever. Also, I think there might be a one-up. Maybe no. Da -da -da -da. Okay, no. Also, the couplings are pretty cool, but they're also easy, mostly. Like, did you see that? That was a little ridiculous. Actually. We can do without the getting hit part, really. History revisionism, you can call it, but I don't care. To save myself getting an extra super mushroom anyway. Not a big deal, right? Okay, hold up. Oh, thank you, heavens. I'm back to my old self again. Thank you so much. Here is a letter from the princess. Eh, hold up. I'm just gonna put this down. There, now the lighting's magically better. Although, I, I forgot something. Okay, hold up a second right here. Okay, that should be fine. Greetings! If you see any ghost, be careful. It will give you... Chase, if you turn away, I have enclosed a jewel that will protect you. Princess Goat's Jewel. Um, it doesn't really look like a jewel. Actually, that's a, a P-Wing, I think. No, I know. I know that's a translation error. They're just goofy with their errors. They still left it in this part. Ah, damn it. Hold up. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, go, 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 no, 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 no. I like those block enemy guys. Pile driver micro goombas, I think they're called. Hold up there. Bruh, he has Wario as one of the. That's Wario! It's Wario! I wonder if that was on purpose. Do they know? I mean, Wario was a character at the time. Mario Land 2 had come out like a year before this one. It's Wario, I swear. Rare, rare Wario on the Super Nintendo sighting. You know, actually, I really like the 2D Mario games a lot. 
I just grew up with 3D Mario, so I like it a little bit more. But the classic games are still go-to, you know, go-to games for me for just a simple fun time. Bro! I did it! I wasn't even using save states that time either. I'm proud. Save that. The one time I get it, and it's a star too. Bro. I guess you could say it was all stars. <laughs> I'm trying. Bro, it's not a semi-solid. This is nothing like Mario Maker. Bro, that's crazy. And I was... By complete, like, circumstance, too. I don't know. I was just kind of doing it. Forgot this game is lame and I can't kill dry bones with the tail. <laughs> Crying. Forgot how solidly designed a lot of the levels are. Like, I mean, I knew it was fun, but like, I'm having a lot of fun. I don't know. Maybe streaming just makes the Mario 2D games more fun than they usually are for me. Like, they're really fun, but I don't know. I guess it just depends on my mood. It's just another leap. Bro, how? How? Wait, what? Okay. Never heard of that in my life. Didn't know the ceiling freaking hurts you for some reason. There's nothing even up there. Which? Okay, I thought there was something over here, but there isn't. So easy. Why did they make bringing him back such a big deal? He's just a nothing boss. You just stomp on him three times. I like his design. He looks cool, but he's just such a nothing boss. Bro, I get this all the time because I'm so good at getting points. Bro, I don't know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I know that one. No, no, no. Ah, damn it. Wait, wait, wait. Mushroom. Flower. Um, yeah, that's fine.
No. Oh yeah, it's just for that useless box. Desert worlds are okay to me. It just depends on how fun they are. To me, all these levels are pretty fun. But I think that's just because I'm so good at Mario and I can just breeze through like, most of the levels really easily. I find the pyramids and like blocks and stuff pretty cool. I don't know. I can't think of any world that's boring in Mario 3. Actually, scratch that. The pipe world sucks. That's my least favorite. Pipe world is terrible. And annoying. And also, screw that one level that needs you to have Raccoon Mario. That That's stupid. Frickin' Boo Beam Trap Mega Man 2 crap right there. go this way. Bruh, what the heck? You'd rather play the annoying pipe world than the freaking desert world? It's not even that bad. It's fun, especially the deserts, especially the angry sun level. I think those are, this level's cool. I mean, you're jumping over the frickin' sun. No. I'm sorry, just no. I'm good at Mario, I just choose to rewind when I make dumb mistakes, because... You know, it's annoying. I don't like being small Mario. True, it is the best one. Yeah, I could use one of my things, so that's true. Damn, just another flower. I like this level too. Wow, you're very hard on the desert world for some reason. I'm crying. Sometimes mid is okay. Oh my god. I'm mid and that's and that's base. I will never be based, and that's not mid. There's nobody I'd rather be than me, or something. I don't know. Uh, actually, no, it's not based, it's peak. I'm mid, and that's... And that's peak. Or something stupid. I like the little dec decorations in the background. That's an underappreciated element of Mario levels. The little flowers and trees. That dart the land. That's why I put extra attention in to make sure the background, de background details 
are close enough to the original in my Mario Maker Remake levels. Because what most people don't pay attention to is, like, the auto-generate... Oh. Um, like, the auto-generated, like, level parts that appear in the level. When they're ma remaking, like, a Mario 1 level or something. Like, like you gotta put them in the right spot. So it's, like, a 100% perfect remake. You gotta be accurate to the source material. You gotta be accurate, man. I like authentic feeling levels. Some of my, um... Like, Mario, Mario 3 World E levels. Take a few level liberties here and there where it just, you know, doesn't apply in Mario Maker. But, like, otherwise, it feels... You know, a lot like those levels. But also kind of fresh because of the said limitations of Mario Maker. You know what? Maybe I can beat Mario 3 in a stream. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Bruh, you hate sin. It's course it's... Bruh. As you were saying, as you were... I was thinking of that as I was reading the message. But then you actually said it, and I was like, oh. Of course it's rough, and of course it's rough, and it gets everywhere. I don't know why that meme is such, that line is such a meme, but it's funny. References. I don't know. I think. I mean, Anakin hated the Sand People, but I don't know. time. I can't wait to play World E because I've never actually only the men and the women the children too. <laughs> yeah. This level's cool. Out of context that looks kind of funny what y'all are saying. This level's pretty cool. No. No. That was annoying. I like how Mario just freaking awkwardly stares when he's going into the pipe in this game. He's like, I know what you are, how I am. I can't do that here. But like, that's the only game where he does that. Like, in the other games, he's just facing the direction he's in. 
At least, okay, actually, I think that's also in Super Mario Land 2, where he bases the green screen, maybe. Oh, wait, maybe he doesn't do- Bruh, Hoopster, what's with the Mario 2 enemies? I mean, I just- Bruh, he fell off the vine. I just played that game myself. It's kind of funny. Maybe Mario 3 was actually real all along. In the Satella View version, only ver only semi sequel to Super Mario Brothers 2 called BS Super Mario Brothers US Super Mario USA. However, it does confirm that the events of Mario 2 actually happened. Whether or not that game is canon, quote unquote quote quote, because Mario canon doesn't really have a big canon quote because there's not really much more going on in these games compared to something like Sonic. But anyway, whether the Super Mario US BS Super Mario USA is canon or not, I don't know. But anyway. Yeah. I kinda like the Mario games for their simplicity, but I kinda wish there's like a little bit more story building. Like, Mario doesn't have to be like Sonic, but I kinda like yeah, exactly. Like, Shy Guys, Birdo, they're all real. Ninjis. They they exist. We didn't, Okay, Ward? I mean... I don't know. I mean, he was on the freaking phone with Daisy in a random, like, Nintendo freaking employee handbook. So, surely Ro Ward is real. We just He's just chilling somewhere. I don't know. Bro, the music's like... Mute it out. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah. Okay, we beat World 3 already. On a good track record here. I think I'll play a little more than World 4. I don't know. I think I could beat this game, actually. I mean, since I'm experienced at it, it doesn't take as long as I thought. Well, sorry, 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 sorry. That's probably kind of awkward. Computer just flew into me. True. Other than in said employee handbook thing I mentioned. It was like a employee calendar? I don't know. And I had a picture of Daisy on the phone with Ward. Why? I don't know. You can stop on your enemies using Karibo Shoot. No. I don't want to use Karibo Shoe. I haven't closed a jewel that helps protect- Okay, whatever. Keep calling them all jewels. Oh, hey, it's the Zelda music world. Also, I love all the remixes of the songs in this game in the Mario 3 cartoon. They're pretty good. Also, I like the water world. I'm sorry. I don't want to get any hate for that, but I like water worlds and desert worlds and ice worlds. I'm just, just people just hate everything. I don't know. In Mario games, I think they're usually pretty fine. I think they're kind of, except when you get hit by a blooper, you can't see. Otherwise, I think they're kind of fun. And in this game, the music's really chill and relaxing. Underwater themes in Mario are usually really good, actually. I, I like how chill they are. Okay, that guy is kind of annoying. Freaking... Volcano? Wait, no, it's a Lava Lotus. The Mario World ones are Volcano Lotuses. Okay, whatever. Probably could have used a power-up here, but... I don't really care. Did it?
him. What? I jumped on him. Can you just not do that like in the SMB1 fish levels? I don't know. Or I can, it just didn't work. No. Team 3 star! I like getting one up, so I wanted to do that. True. True. Oh! A frog suit. Wish I had it a little earlier, but you know what? I want to use it. It's fun. Frog suit's funny. Let's, let's go. Do the frog. Ribbit. Ribbit. Hop, hop, hop. Do the frog. Alright, makes a little sound in this version. That's so cute. Wait, if I was holding a Koopa shell, wouldn't I be able to just have normal walking capability? Yeah. I mean, the Koopa's gonna come out eventually, but... Bruh, he looks so cute. Why, why does he walk like that? Okay, so why is it only when he's holding a shell that he's able to walk normal? No, I don't want to lose the frog suit. I love it. It's cute and funny looking. I love frogs, honestly. They're, they're one of my favorite animals. They're cute. Along with rabbits, penguins, monkeys, and dogs. No, just, just, no, ah, uh, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this level is kind of crazy. I like it, though. I know what you are. <laughs> Let's go. I like how short the levels are, honestly. It's refreshing. From the long, long levels of Mario 2 so at that time. Sure, you know what? Let's go through the castle like a frog would do. I never really played the whole world with Frog Mario. Let's consider it a good challenge. Actually, didn't they add it to Mario Maker? I forget. I'm pretty sure they did. I just wish they supported the game more. Oh, this is a good place to have it. Actually. Bruh, Tuscan Raider Shy Guy. That's sick. I think in the Mario movie, there's like snippets that are in the desert part in one of the scenes, but I forget. Let me look it up. Pretty sure. They were like desert desert dwellers, kind of like Tuscan Raiders. Weird. Oh yeah, they do. They have a. They have um. I don't. Actually, I don't remember what they were in the desert, but they were in the Mario movie. The original one. And they look kind of raw, not gonna lie. That's pretty raw, bruh. Look at them. Okay, um... What was I doing? Oh, yeah, playing Mario. Oh, wait, my camera's still off. I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, wait, did I turn it off by accident at one point? I don't know. I don't remember. Must have been recently. Bro, this level sucks. It's just a big maze. Which door am I supposed to go in? Okay. Okay, well this is annoying. What if I just took the last one? 
has coins that I can't get to because I don't have the I need save states for this level. Screw it. Wait. Oh, okay, good. I was just checking something. Bro. one up. Where do I go? What do I do? I don't know. Wow, this is annoying. I think I... Three Castle World Three. Which door do I take? Oh, I need to get rid of my frog suit. No wonder there was leaves everywhere. No, ah, oh, they're doing this crap again with the required power-ups? Come on. Well, actually, wait, no, you probably don't need it. Have to go into door F. Wherever that is. Okay, before this swamp. Yeah, that one. Oh, okay. That was stupid. This was a poopy level. Didn't like it. And Frog will kill Boom Boom easily. No! No! Oh, gosh. Wing Boom Boom is kind of crazy, though. I like him. I like how his arms get replaced with freaking wings. He looks kind of silly, but cool. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, I thought it was for a second. Bro, how did I not get hit? Bro! Bro! Bro, oh, I was almost flexing on them perfectly. Cool thing I don't need. Oh wait, actually, I mean, I guess I could use it to get to this thing. Bro, that happens all the time. Or that. Oh, he can't slide on slopes? Understood. 
No! Stop trying to hurt the poor frog. This level would be funner if I can slide. I'm sorry, frog. I can't resist the urge to slide around like a little silly ninny. Also, I don't know if you can even get up there without sliding. How do you get up there, actually? How? I don't know. Oh, there's a hidden block. Meh. Honestly, in Mario 3, I always thought that Lakitu just had really fat cheeks on his face. But those are actually his hands, just throwing it out of the cloud, I think. I used to think it was just part of his face. He just kind of looked funny. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, Star is down there. Yes. Damn it. No, no, no. I knew it was up here. I knew. I knew it. No. Okay. being reminded of the Mario 3 water level I made as part of World E for Mario Maker 2. I think you should get the... Oh, uh, wait. Do you have Xbox? Oh, wait. Yeah, you have Xbox, I think. I think the Switch version of Frontiers is probably good, but you're probably much better getting it on Xbox, I feel. At least for that game. It looks pretty beautiful on other systems. But I don't know. I heard there might be some performance issues with the Switch version, but it's still pretty playable in comparison to, like, Sonic Forces. Definitely recommend Frontiers. I think you'd like it a lot, but if you can't afford it right now, understandable. It'll probably go on sale again sometime soon anyway. Oh, crap. This game perfected the platforming control of Mario, I think. That and I mean, it's really good in the new Super Mario series. It's really good in Mario World. Mario 1, it's kind of jank. Mario 2, it's fine. It just... I don't know. Feels a little off.
Bruh, Spike, I freaking love that guy. He looks so goofy. change that. That doesn't even make logical sense. Why would that make me Super Mario? It's a fire flower. soon now. I like stretches, they're funny. I'm glad they're in Mario Maker for no particular reason. That was simple. Let's go. Big Bro said in the Mario movie is a good character. Don't at me. Oh my god, I hate you. I actually hate you. Go to heck. Okay, 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 okay. There, strategy. Game Big Bertha, I don't like. Mario movie, mo Big Bertha, pretty cool. Bro, I got this trice in the same world. I'm just that good at getting points, huh? Oh, we got a matcher. We got another matcher. And damn it. That's fine. Okay, world three is a little bit longer than the other ones, but world four is short again. Do 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 do
I like that. That's kind of cool. Why can you just go around the map? What's the point? Frog! Yeah, baby! Wow, I'm doing really good with this somehow. Another frog suit. Well, I probably won't need it, but I mean, it's good to have for later. So, where do I go now? Probably one of these pipes. even from this game. You're not even from the same era of Mario. You're from the future. Well, I guess they might have knew of Dinosaur Land before Mario World. I like him though. He's cute. Bro, look at him go. <laughs> look at the frog go. He's just like hopping around. Making little hops. It's like my rabbits when they run around. I'm gonna go to beat World 4 and then stop for a lunch break after that. It's no good place to end the game, I would say, because I'm getting, a, I'm getting a little hungry. So, probably a good stopping point. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I don't really care. Bruh, what, what's the point of that? Also, I wish those bolt things were in Mario Maker, because those were used in a lot of the levels I made. Uh, I mean, I was but I was remaking from Mario World E. Okay, don't mess with the Rocky Wrench. Okay, Wendy, I forgot, it's kind of annoying. Also, I don't... 
I don't like how she looks in this game. She looks kind of off. She's red and she has a weird face. It doesn't really look anything like the artwork for Wendy for Mario 3 anyway. I, I don't know. She just looks like an angry creature. Here. Okay, I might need a power up for this. Okay, she's kind of hard, actually. Maybe I gotta wait. Oh, okay. This guy's Mario, and the, the land, the freaking waterland is shaped like Kyoto, so he's like king of Nintendo. Oh yeah, I forgot to read Peach's note. The white block contains magic powers that will enable you to defeat your enemies. Yeah, yeah, whatever, something about it, Jewel. Also, I like the world in this. The music in this world. Giant Land. I know it's really easy compared to other worlds, but I love Giant Land. It looks cool. Some people say it's too easy, but I don't know. It's a nice breather world because World 3 was kind of long. Like, that's fine. Honestly, people say Mario 3 has inconsistent difficulty, but like, I only really feel like that's just because of this world existing. Like, other than, you know, World 4 kind of being a breather easy world, uh, I don't really see the difficulty being that inconsistent. It gets pretty hard later in the game, like, you know, it's natural. World 2 was kind of a little bit difficult, World 3 was a little more difficult, and this... Bro, why is there some pipes with just small piranha plants in them, but others have big ones? That doesn't even make any sense. He's not even in the middle of the pipe! Okay, you... you screw you with your frickin' putting the star in the wrong direction nonsense. That's so easy. Mm, by the way, next stream will be uh, a little bit of a interlude to Mario 64. I'm gonna be playing uh, freaking. Versus Super Mario Brothers, and then I'll be playing Super Mario 64. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell next about Mario 3. Eh. You can always catch Mario 3 next time on the latter half. Original because I mean I could play DS on an emulator, but like, yeah. I 
I mean, I don't really care to. I mean, I like DS, but I'd rather just play... If someone made a good mod with all of its contents in, like, the original game, or, like, with better controls, I would want to play it more. I'd play DS more, but... Both are pretty valid ways of playing it. I just wish 64 was at a different time. Yeah. It'll be on the 3D All-Stars version, because, I mean, that's a version I own. And it's a good version. Even if, you know, they probably could have done more to make it, you know, better, but... Like, does Mario 64 really need widescreen? I don't know. The game isn't really designed around it. So, like, you don't really need widescreen, but I feel like widescreen in Mario Sunshine was a nice touch. But, like, if they added in, add it in, six, in Galaxy and Sunshine, they could have done it in 64 as an option. Yeah, it doesn't in 3D All-Stars. That's what I mean. Damn. Bruh, I always forget how to freaking open these treasure boxes. No, that's men. <laughs> eh, it's a fortress. I don't really need the freaking leaf. Oh, uh, a hot foot, bruh. Freaking sideways is too long. I kind of wish they were in more games like that. The sideways swamps are the sideways swamps are cool. They mix it up quite a bit. Uh, ow. Wait, what? Bro, they really want me to actually slide? Usually, that's an optional mechanic. What? Bro, they really want me to jump that high? What? 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 Okay, fine. Whatever. Bro, that's... that's annoying.
Okay, sorry, I was just reading something real quick. I'm here. And no, you know, you know what? I was that close. Damn it. underwater how does this even work what what how was I above the water okay logic maybe it's an undersea cavern and that was the above part of the cavern I don't see what this has to do with giants other than the tile set but you know sure Yeah, Undersea Cavern seems like the most likely ex- Bro, he's so good. He's busted. I forgot. It's a good thing I, I found more frog suits, honestly. They're really good. No. Just keep it. Yeah, I don't know. I like 64DS. I just feel like even with the circle pad, it doesn't fix its control issue for me. It just feels weird. And I hate holding the run button to play in a 3D platformer. The smooth control is what made, like, Super Mario 64 good to me. I know some people would agree, would disagree partially with that, but I think Mario 64 has good control. Bro, it's all mid. Yeah, good enough. That's fair. You know, I did too. But then I started to play the, the N64 version. I started to like it more. That's fair. Bruh. Underappreciated aspect of Sludge Bro. His booger he used to have. He got a tissue and he wiped the boogers. So now he doesn't have them as part of his design anymore. They're gone. No more boogers. No more snot nose sludge bros. For justice to the slot snot nose sludge bro. He looks funny. Bring him back. Bro, more of them. Another sludge bro. Maybe I'll use that on the level I'm annoying with. Well, might as well keep using this until I decide I don't need it anymore. Which may end up being soon. Right now, actually, I don't, I don't care anymore. Sorry, Sledge, bro, bro, I hate these. Bro, it's just a bunch of bullets. Oh, hey, that was kind of cool. No. Oh, yo, I forgot you can just find that in a level. Bro. Tanooki Su- wait, what? Oh, yeah, I forgot you can do that. You can just crouch and fly, too. Tanooki Sui! True, I love Tanooki Mario. Bro, he's, he's so fuzzy on the world map, too.
No. I will cry. Bruh, this reminds me of 1-1 one, one of Lost Levels. With the square block structure. And the plant right next to it. What? Bro, the hitboxes in this game suck sometimes. Why is there just a door in the middle of a level? You don't usually... Oh, right. Tiny huge island from Mario 64. So, I'll just play the rest of the level tiny. Who cares? Eh, never mind. I will cry. Kitsune Luigi is cool. Bro, there's two fortresses here. Just walk in the lava. Clearly, these are deceased green Koopa Troopas and not red ones. things like in world uh seven i think pipe world these things are kind of cool they remind me a little bit of yoshi's island somehow like those moving lip things that had arrows on them that were circular i gotta play yoshi's island again sometime maybe that'll be another game i pack up for a stream series. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, I'm pretty sure I gotta go in this pipe. The only one would just bring me back down. Eh? I don't know. Whenever I decide it's a good time to play Yoshi's Island. Like, if they had a new Yoshi game coming out, I'd want to play a bunch of Yoshi games. That would be a thing. You'd, you would enjoy that. Probably. The Sea Up Saga of the stream. Oh, that was pretty cool. Wait, wait, was there just a couple coins? There has to be more. I should just play Star Fox Adventures. For a Yoshi month. Bro, that would be a good good thing to call it. I could have called this Mario month, but knowing how easy it is to beat all these freaking streams, it's I mean to beat all these games, I don't know if I'd say a month necessarily. I mean it's already it's only been like a week. I've already played all the classic ones. I just have Mario 64. But, you know, that would be a good idea for my channel, maybe. Just make a thing called X Month, and then it'd be a good way to promote, like, stuff. Just call it, like, Mario Month. Like, I know other YouTubers do that. They have, like, like you know, Peanut Butter Gamer and his Zelda Month in November. True. Then again, 1991 is kind of a difficult year to consider. Because, like, a lot of, you know, anniversary milestones are in either, ninth, you know, in something ending with 6 or something ending it with 01. So, it's hard to, you know, one milestone a year for it. That's why you see them go all the love the Mario and not other series that end in, like, 85 or 5 something. 
But I'd like Nintendo to do better with anniversary stuff in general, because those can be really cool. I like anniversaries, they're fun. It's what Sash was all about, after all. Okay, um, more of this thing. Coin. L? No. Wait. Yeah, I remember that one. Damn. Okay, we're almost done with this little thing. Actually, we're done, like, right now. Good, but keep trying. Okay, fine. True. Hopefully they make it as big a year like they did for Crash. Bruh, yeah, he literally is just Donkey Kong Jr. <laughs> That's cute. I like Donkey Kong Jr. I'm glad he's just randomly here. Donkey Kong Jr. Bruh, I can kill the flames. You can stomp fire. That's how strong the statue is. If I wanted to, I could be playing Mario 3, but I also had Mario 4 Tour to play today, so I think World well, 4, like I planned, was a good stopping point anyway. True. Yep, you can kill flames, though they come back anyway, so it's kind of pointless. Pretty sure in 3D Land and 3D World, he just can turn stone permanently, too. I got a hammer too. That would be pretty cool. This is just the burner level. That could mean two different things, honestly. Look at this nerd. Bro, the statue is kicking his ass. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm I uh, what was I saying? Dun dum ba bum. Thank you guys so much for watching, by the way. You're all really cool. who stole the whistle has escaped to the east side of the sand dunes. Who? I don't know. 
dog shit. I don't really know what the theme of this world is, honestly. I know it's Sky, but that's for the second half. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to follow and check out my Discord server link on the Twitch sidebar thing. So that way you can keep updated with streams. Also, I have a YouTube channel where all these Mario videos and other things are saved. Same channel name. We got a lot of Splatoon videos, Castlevania, Kingdom Hearts, Sonic, and more. So, yeah. Take care, take care everybody, and have yourselves a good one.